um, here's a question about uh, calisthenics in general. So how effective um, do you think that calisthenic training is for the average person um, when compared to conventional fitness training? And, and here I'm talking about um, any of the usual stuff that people go to the gym for, you know, they're going to ride the exercise bike and they're going to run on the treadmill like a robot and all of that kind of stuff. So how do you, how do you think that calisthenics compares to that? Uh, I think if there's a purpose for it, calisthenics can be really good. So I think calisthenics um, is great when compared to conventional weight training for the reason of enhanced neuromuscular control. So when you look at skills like handstand push-ups, they have a very high technical component, a very high uh, coordination demand to be able to balance while you're doing these high-level strength skills. I think that's something you won't get the same sort of um, adaptations from just doing general traditional weight training. Um, that being said, I don't think calisthenics is something that everybody has to do. So obviously I'm an advocate of calisthenics. I absolutely love it. It's my, um, <laughs> it's my physical practice of choice. But I think if you're just a general person who's trying to get fit, um, there's not really any reason why you have to do calisthenics or why you should do that over, say, cycling or basketball or another, another style of exercise that you would enjoy more. Um, and just as an, an aside to that, what, uh, when you think about the safety of calisthenics versus the, the safety of say conventional weight training, you know, training with a barbell or whatever, um, do you think they are comparable? Is calisthenics more or less safe? Um, you know, if somebody's considering starting, uh, to train, right. And they're considering doing one versus the other, um, what is the relative, um, safety of calisthenic training? I think if you're quite sensible and you have good guidance, they're both very safe. You know, if you start start slow and gradually progress with your, your training, you don't get under a, you know, a double body weight barbell squat and try and squat that, uh, you, you know, your first time in the gym. I think that's something that, um, that calisthenics protects you against because to do things that are quite dangerous, um, you generally have to be quite skilled. So, um, you know, if you, if you can't balance a handstand, you've got no, no chance to, to do a handstand push up. So you're probably not going to try skills like that. Whereas it is, it's a little bit easier to get under a weight that's too heavy for you and, you know, try and squat it or try and bench it. Um, so I think with that regards, calisthenics might be a little bit, um, a little bit safer. People often look at what I do and say, wow, this must be so dangerous. You must get all these, all these injuries. Um, aren't you worried about falling? And I think to get to the level where you're generating enough force, enough speed, enough power to do something that's dangerous, you've probably developed the neuromuscular control to fall safely from, from that skill. Mm -hmm. 